This is the story of the three bears with a special guest. There once lived a quiet, content family of bear, and a most spunky gal who had curls in her hair. Papa Bear was gigantic, and Mama was tall, but the wee little bear barely made noise at all. In their little old cottage, those three charming bears had three couches, three soup bowls, three beds, and three chairs. Papa Bear's things were giant, and babies were small. Mama Bear liked the middle-sized stuff most of all. Then one day Mama Bear made the porridge too hot. Let's go walking, she said, while I cool this hot pot. So the three furry bears lumbered out for a stroll. Now we turn to a golden-haired girl and her role. You stay out of the woods, Goldie's mother would say, but that girl was determined to have her own way. So she chanced on Bear Cottage, and our heroine tried the windows, the keyhole, and then she walked in. Oh, I know it, that I shouldn't, but now that I'm here, no one's home, and I guess I have nothing to fear. So she tasted the porridge of Big Papa Bear. It's too hot, she cried out. I had better beware. Then she tried to eat Mama's, but found it too cold. To the last, she found babies. That girl was so bold. Well, the girl took a bite, and she sat up down to sup. My, my, this one's just right. I shall eat it all up. But this chair is too big, and the other two tall. So she sat in the small chair and had a small fall. All this work makes me tired, that golden girl said. Then she walked up the stairs and went straight to bed. Well, she didn't like Papa or Mama Bear's bed, so she lay in the wee little bear's bed instead. When the bears found the mess in the kitchen, they knew. Someone ate my porridge. Someone ate from mine too. And when wee little bear saw his porridge all gone, how he fussed and he fumed. Oh, that bear carried on. Come sit, son. It's all right, said that huge papa bear. Then he thundered. I think someone sat in my chair. Mama bear thought so too, so they looked all around. But when baby bear sat, he plopped flat on the ground. In his wee little voice, though the volume increases, he screamed. Look at my chair. Someone broke it to pieces. Well, they ran to the bedroom, each bear to his bed. And when Papa saw his, he just shook that bear head. I know someone's been sleeping in my bed, he swore. And in mine, said his wife in a middle-sized roar. Baby Bear found the girl sound asleep in his bed. I think I've solved the mystery, Baby Bear said. I know who, said Wee Bear, and I even know how. She was sleeping in my bed, and here she is now. Well, when Golden Hair heard that, she opened her eyes. And that Golden Hair girl sure was in for a surprise. At the sight of the bears, Goldie turned tail and ran. And the family of bears never saw her again. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first